This man is AI just analyzed Tesla's entire financial future in five minutes and even created a dashboard to review its analysis. But can it find hidden stock opportunities? If so, it would transform how we invest forever. I'm going to show you the exact system that smart investors are using to find massively undervalued companies while everyone is still reading outdated reports. This is not investment advice, but we're letting AI do the analysis. Let's get right to it. Let's see how Manus can help us analyze stocks. In this example, I'm going to analyze the Tesla stock and we're going to simply ask it this simple question. I'd like a thorough analysis of Tesla stock, including a summary, financial data, revenue trend, market sentiment, technical analysis, compare assets, value investor, and investment thesis. You can see that Manus AI already started on all of these tasks and you can see how Manus is using the computer on the right hand side. And here we can see that it made a directory and started putting files together. For example, it put together a to-do.markdown uh, file. And it is right here. Right here is the markdown file. You can see that created a to-do list, uh, gathered Tesla company information, collected financial data, analyzed market sentiment. And it is now currently working on um, doing each of these steps one by one. As we go down here, we see that it is giving us information as it's completing the tasks and it is marking off things here in the markdown list. Here we can see that it checked off already um, the first two steps on its list and it's already on to the next step, which is collect Tesla financial data. As it collects the financial data, it reports back on what it finds and it's even putting together charts. Here we can see the progress that it has made. And at this point, it has already looked into the market sentiment, performed technical analysis on the Tesla, and is about to start performing technical analysis on the Tesla stock. If we want to look into any of the specific files that it executed, it you can find them right here and you can see exactly what kind of data analysis it performed. And we can see what kind of files it put together at this point and it's reporting back its finding as it continues. At this point, it is creating charts and cleaning them up in order to visualize all of the data that it's gathering. By this stage here, it has already completed six out of the 10 different steps. The last thing that Manus does in this particular case is it says that it completed comprehensive analysis of the Tesla stock, and it puts together the key findings from the analysis. It gives you the specific answer that I was asking for, the one, two, three, four, and it even put together the Tesla analysis report in great formatting. And this is a, you can see that it even created a discount in cash flow analysis. And it suggests that the current stock price exceeds the calculated intrinsic value across multiple scenarios. This is all beautiful. So now the next step that we can do is we can create a dashboard. So we're going to give Manus the instructions. Well done, make a dashboard and Manus is off to the races. It's starting creating a dashboard. And you can see here that it's even executing the dashboard over here. And this is window that we get. But in this case, it says sandbox not found. So we simply tell it develop it to public URL so that we can view it um, from the browser. And it implemented it fairly quickly. And it gives us this link that we can now access. And look at this, guys. It created a complete Tesla stock analysis dashboard with an executive summary, the investment recommendation, for different types of investors. It gives us a financial performance and a valuation analysis. It shows us the technical analysis, the market position, and it even created the SWOT analysis. Brand strength, premium pricing, global EV market, intensifying competition. It shows different pricing target scenarios and gives you the approximate share price of where it is fair valued, where it is, what's the bear case, and what is the bull case. Lastly, it gives you an investment conclusion. All of this is super impressive. It was able to create this whole website and the dashboard with the data that it had from the day that this dashboard was created. However, if we now look at Tesla stock price, it is now 236. So this was created when it was at 230 at 284. And if we go here to the base case, it suggested that the intrinsic value of the Tesla stock is 250. So it's crazy impressive that with just three prompts, we were able to get this beautiful dashboard and a lot of information and analysis out of it. By the way, if you want to learn how to get access to Manus because they're currently still in a closed beta, you can click on this video or check out the description below. Let's see if Manus can identify some stocks that most people would usually overlook. Start a new window. We know how to analyze a specific stock, for example, the Tesla stock. Let's now give it a different prompt. I'm going to say find three to five potentially undervalued stocks that most retail investors are overlooking. 
Use your knowledge of financial analysis to determine which metrics best identify truly undervalued companies. Create visual dashboard that clearly show why these stocks might be undervalued compared to their true worth. Explain your findings in a way that's insightful for experienced investors, but still understandable for beginners. Let's see what happens. All right, and Manus is off to the races. And it's already looking at different stocks and has already set out different things to do. At this point, Manus is giving us a task progress update and we are currently at task five out of seven. So it identified the key metrics for evaluating undervalued stocks. It searched and screened for potential undervalued stock candidates. Then it collected comprehensive financial data for selected stocks and it analyzed stock data using alternative methods to identify undervalued companies. And currently it's working on creating visual dashboards illustrating stock value insights. We'll check in in a minute. You can see it working hard over here where it gives you also the different things that it's doing. Manus just finished its analysis and it delivered the final analysis to the user. Over here is the undervalued stock analysis, hidden opportunities for retail investors. Gives us a, an executive summary and it recommends General Motors, Pooled Group, Dr. Horton, Synchrony Financial and United Airlines. These were given based on PE ratios, PP ratios, EV to EBITDA and PEG ratios. It gives you the full analysis and explanation of why it thinks that these are undervalued. It even generated a bunch of graphs right here to showcase its analysis. And it shows all of the different ratios and why these are good investments. It does it for each individual stock. But let's do the same as we did with Tesla and showcase it in a live link on a dashboard that we can share with our team. I'm simply going to prompt it to please create a dashboard showcasing this information and publish it to a public URL so that I can share it with my team. It responded by saying, I'll create a web dashboard showcasing the undervalued stock analysis and publish it to a public URL that you can share with your team. This will take a few minutes to set up. It even tells us the task progress. It says that um, they're creating a web dashboard from existing undervalued stocks. That's the analysis it already performed. And it planned to deploy the dashboard to a public hosting platform and also generate it and share the public URL with the user. Let's check in in a minute. Man is just finished, so let's check out the results. Over here, it's says that Manus has completed the current task and is ready for new requests and revisions. And it shows us the link right here. Let's see if we can access that right here. We have the key metric, we have an executive summary right here with key metrics comparison. And the metrics that we're gonna compare is the PE, the EV2, EBITDA, and the PEG ratio. We can compare the stock for General Motors, for PHM, for DHI, for SYF, and for United Airlines. And I don't really understand why they would have the PEG ratio. It does not really help to have an average here or the average growth rate, but overall the, the visualization is pretty cool. It shows us the sector distribution of the undervalued stocks and here it gives us a table. I think this is much more helpful. And it even gives us a score. It doesn't explain how it created the score, but that is fine. We did not ask for that. And it even has nice sorting right here with interactive elements of the HTML and uh, all of these are distinct graphs. So that is really cool. So you can see all of the different information for each of the docs right here and read up on it. You can read why it's undervalued and why it is an opportunity to buy. It even gives you a current price and an estimated fair value. And I'm not sure if it generated the estimated fair value itself or it, of its research, but I would look into that if I were to do anything with this more. It gives you an explanation of why these docs are overlooked and even uh, the investment implications. Now, I'm not gonna jump into buying these stocks quite right now, but overall, this serves as a super good use case of how powerful Manus AI is in creating really in-depth data analysis and data visualization tools. And then it can even publish all of that information online for you to share with your team. I wanna hear your comments. Do you think Manus is overhyped or is this actually impressive? Subscribe if this video was valuable, and I think you will like this video, so watch that next.